Hey there! So in this video, I'll show you the journey I had uh, leaving my country to go on board during this uh, pandemic. So first off is I arrive at Neya 1 and I'm gonna join my ship in Japan. So my flight is from Manila to Tokyo. Uh, we f fall in line outside and we entered the airport based on the airlines that we are going to board. So in our case, Anna Airlines. So when the passengers going to board the Anna Airlines were called, we were allowed to go in. Anna. And then after that, standard airport procedures, uh, they checked our bags. We fell in line for check-in, of course, with proper social distancing. <clears throat> after that, we proceeded to the immigration. And after the immigration, we had our check-in bags checked again. And then we proceeded to the gate and waited for our boarding time. When I boarded the plane, I was surprised to see that most seats didn't observe uh, social distancing. Luckily, I sat beside with one of my colleagues whom I'll be joining the ship with and he tested negative when we had our swab test in Manila. But if you're alone and you sit beside someone you don't know, it would be uncomfortable because you don't know if he had been exposed to the virus or not. I just arrived at Tokyo International Airport. Uh, there was quite a delay in the disembarking because the passengers who were disembarked first were the ones who, were, who have a connecting flight. And to us who are arriving at Japan, we are to disembark last. Upon disembarking from the airplane, we proceeded to have our documents checked. Uh, this consists of our travel history and our health conditions. Because after, after the check, we proceeded to a testing area where the airport personnel did a swab test on us and we finished the test at around 10 o'clock in the evening. So after, after the test, they made us proceed to a designated waiting area inside the airport and we were instructed to wait for the results. After, uh, after 9 hours at 8 o'clock in the morning, the following day, uh, they already had the results of our swab test. And it's morning. Hello. So we just finished waited for the results and all eight of us came out to be negative. It was quite a relief. <clears throat> because some of our colleagues who were here earlier, uh, one of them was positive. So, yeah. So now we're gonna pass through immigration and uh, take our baggages and wait for our agent to pick us up and bring us to the hotel. We just finished immigration and we're now going to baggage claim.
Hey there! So from the airport, we uh, went straight to our hotel where we will be staying for 14 days. So we just talked with the agent also and uh, our shipyard or our ship is nowhere near uh, Tokyo. So after 14 days, we still have to go to Ariake shipyard by plane. And who knows how long we will stay there again. So yeah, that's the effect of this new normal and everything, every protocol should be followed. So I haven't stepped into my room yet basically because I still have to take off all my clothes and disinfect it later on. So yeah, this is where I will be staying for 14 days. Upside about it is my crunch truck is already running. So while we are at the hotel, we are getting paid. So that's one of the perks. <laughs> so that's it. So here I am after a super great shower. So just so you know, before we went to the airport, uh, we had the swab test days before our flight. But our company allowed us to go home to our families. In some cases, uh, seafarers would be directed to a hotel after the swab test and they would stay there until the day of their flight to ensure that they would not be exposed to the virus so different companies have different procedures and protocols with regards to testing their crew and also all the information from this video does not always apply to other countries some Countries may have different protocols with regards to embarkation of seafarers, but I believe that all other countries have the same procedures, which is that in the airport where the seafarers would join, or in the country where the seafarers would join, they would undergo a swab test. And then after the swab test, if they are tested negative, they would undergo a quarantine of 14 days before they join the ship that they will embark on or before they would go to another part of that specific country but if they are tested negative they would get treated in the hospital of the country and if they were traveling with their colleagues those colleagues would be instructed to wait at that airport and to be tested again and to wait for a flight back home to Manila. So I think that's all. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And of course to hit the notification button for more updates on my upcoming videos. And as always, keep safe, stay at home, and see you in the next one.